Congratulations on your first Player of the Week honor to earn it here in San Diego, where immediately you've been able to make such immediate contributions. What What's the significance to you? Thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, it's big for me, especially uh, uh, we uh, another team, new team for me, and especially here in San Diego. I want to give this to the fans for supporting me, my teammates, my family, and then this is amazing. You know, the other day, your manager, Mike Schilt, was talking about how this team isn't getting enough credit for how well you all have gelled, especially with how many new guys have come in. You, of course, being one of them. What can you say about the chemistry that you've been able to find with this team so quickly? Oh, I appreciate him. <laughs> He's amazing. Uh, I just come here to play baseball, do my little things to win, and then give you my energy to my whole team and accept to the manager because this is team. This is the team. So we just need to uh, come here and play baseball. So we got a really good team. We need. We just need to keep continue play baseball. When you uh, first heard the news that you were traded, what were you doing, and what were your immediate reaction? I was surprised. Yeah, that was too soon. But uh, everybody knows this is business. This is baseball. Um, I just, uh, I, I was in my locker, talk with my wife and my, and my hitting coach. We just need, uh, starting to do the, the, my routine work. And then Ski called me, hey, we gotta talk. And I say, Ski, what happened? I do something bad or what? And then he say, he, I, I look his face, he was sad. And then I say, oh, it's something happened. And then I go with him to the gym and he say, hey, we trade you to San Diego. I was surprised because that was too soon, but uh, now I'm here with another team, and nothing. This is baseball. How would you describe the atmosphere surrounding the team here as opposed to Miami? Amazing. We got a lot of fans. The fans, I mean, this is an energy stadium. It's like uh, when I play my classic baseball in Miami, when I saw a lot of people, they, they just give me a lot of energy. When I saw the people, the fans coming to support us, this is everything for us, so that's what we need. How about the atmosphere in the locker room? How is that different here than in Miami? Oh, it's nothing different. It's nothing different. I play with uh, a lot of big names, like Nelson Cruz in Miami, and uh, Carlos Correa and in Miami. I got JB, he play here. Um, I got a lot of good guys around me, Jax, um, and then, like I say, this is baseball. Now I got money, studies, and then I, I, I'm close with weight and then a soccer. I feel like a family here. Wow. How long did it take for you to uh, really get comfortable here? First day. Really? The first day when I get uh, my fourth hit in Arizona. Ah. I feel so comfortable. Okay. Okay. Um, now, your family is still in Miami, correct? Correct. How do you deal with that are you planning to bring them to San Diego or how do you keep contact with them how does that affect you emotionally that so far I just open my mind they understand this is my job so they are here they are here already so they come back to Miami tomorrow the good things that my wife just fly here my mom my dad my sister everybody's here with me so they understand this is my, my job so Anything is happening with, with my family, so they just enjoy what I do right now. Luis, facing Trevor Rogers yesterday, facing Jesus Lazardo today, is it kind of weird at all just a, a few weeks later to go from being teammates with those guys to facing them on the other side? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird because uh, two weeks to go, three weeks, I don't know. Uh, we are in the same team. But, you know, so Taylor, he just, Roger, he just did really good job last night, uh, yesterday. He pitched really well, so I'm glad he, he healthy. And I said, Luzardo, today we are close, so I just want to go there and enjoy him. What's your relationship like with, with Jesus? A lot, a lot. We talk a lot. So when he talk, we, we got a lot of communication after he go to the mall. And I just say, hey, bro, I want to say something to you. You want to throw this or this, and then you want to move me. When he pitching, we just move to the, the other side. And he said, hey, bro, I throw changes, you got to move to the right side. I say, OK. He's a big guy. He's a he's an amazing person. He's, he's a nasty pitcher, too. So I just want to go there and enjoy him. Anything else in English? Yes. Um, what was yesterday like for you? I mean, you got you reunited 
you saw your old teammates again, you got a hug from Josh Bell when you were at first base. What was going through your mind and your heart with all of that? Emotional. It's emotional. When I see Skip, first of all, Skip was my manager last year. He's one of my favorite managers. I don't like. But when I see JB, De La Cruz, everybody there, I just, and uh, John Jay, that was amazing, emotional for me. So the good thing, we, we just still friends, you know? So we, we just keep continue to talk for text, call, something like that, but we are still friends.